Hello students, welcome to the third edition of chapter 10, Light, Reflection and Refraction. If you are watching a physics video for the first time, you can click on the link given in the description to watch the previous topics. In this video, we will be learning about the sign convention for reflection by spherical mirrors, the mirror formula, the phenomenon of refraction and refraction due to glass lab. In this convention, we shall follow a set of certain sign conventions called the New Cartesian Sign Conventions. In this convention, the pole P of the mirror is taken as the origin and the principal axis is taken as the x-axis of the coordinate system. All the distances parallel to the principal axis are measured with respect to the pole and therefore all the distances to the left of the pole are negative while all the distances to the right of the pole are positive. Also remember that the object is always kept at the left side of the mirror hence object distance u of the mirror is always negative. And finally the distances measured perpendicularly to the principal axis are positive if they are above the principal axis and negative if they are below the principal axis. In a spherical mirror, the distance between the object and pole of the mirror is called object distance u, while the distance between the image and the pole is called image distance v. Now there is a relation between the object distance u, image distance v and focal length f which is given by 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u. This formula is valid for all spherical mirrors in any situation. Magnification is the ratio of height of the image to the height of the object. Magnification can also be written as m is equal to minus v by u. Refraction Have you ever noticed why your pencil appears to be broken when you immerse it in a glass of water? Let us now study why it happens. Light travels faster in vacuum, that is 300,000 meters per second. But its velocity decreases in the media other than vacuum. So while passing through one medium from another, the speed of light changes. And this change in speed causes the bending of light. This phenomenon of bending of light is called refraction. The twinkling of the star is due to atmospheric refraction. The shallowness of the swimming pool is due to refraction and even the looming illusions on the road on a sunny day is due to refraction of light. The ray of light incidence on the surface of the medium making angle I with respect to the normal and gets refracted making angle R with respect to the normal. You must remember that if a ray of light travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium then it bends towards the normal. When it travels from denser medium to the rarer medium it bends away from the normal. If it is incident normally on the surface then it passes through it without deviating. Refraction through a glass lab let us learn about refraction through an experiment using a glass lab. Here the ray of light is incident on a rectangular glass lab making an angle I with respect to the normal. Now as the light enters the glass medium it bends slightly towards the normal and gets refracted at an angle R. This ray then enters from glass to air medium. 
This is from denser to the rarer medium. Therefore, it bends away from the normal and emerges out from the glass slab. Here, the dotted line represents the original incident ray and you will find that the immersion ray is exactly parallel to the incident ray. The perpendicular distance between the emergent and the incident ray is called path shift. This occurs due to the extent of bending of the ray of light at the opposite parallel faces of the rectangular glass slab is equal and opposite. Laws of Refraction There are two laws of refraction. The first law states that the incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the refracted ray, they all lie in the same plane. Whereas the second law states that the sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. This is also called Snell's law. This constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. The refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called its absolute refractive index or simply the refractive index of a medium. An absolute refractive index of any medium is given by n is equal to velocity of light in vacuum divided by velocity of light in the medium. In the next video, we will be discussing the image formation by spherical lenses, the sign convention used in spherical lenses and the lens formula. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos.